How would you like to be a rich and famous actor for the rest of your life? Am I going to be in an actual movie? You're going to be playing famous Hollywood actor Huckle Saxon. Huck's dead. So we use a double. You're going to need to look like him, talk like him, walk like him, and treat others exactly the way he does. It's a lot of pressure to be an entirely different person. Don't you have some kind of a magic makeup? We came across this cream. Wow, what is this? It makes scars disappear. Wrinkled vanity. It's got these amazing healing properties. I just want to tell you to get ready for a change. The new me is going to be different than the old me. What is inside will be outside. And what is underneath will be revealed. What did you get into last night? I'm telling you, there's something evil about this dream. It feeds on the basest of human emotions, anger, <gasps> rage, jealousy. Some things are worth more than money. Hatred. I can feel it. Anything evil. Martha! What is going on? So he's acting like the monster from the movie. Not acting. He is the monster from the movie. Somebody help me! He kind of went a little crazy. He turned into monsters because they are monsters. It's like straight out of a movie. Stamp out the evil you have unleashed. There's no turning back. Celebrity is a mask. And you can't take it off. Hello, folks, and welcome to day two of the 31 Days of Howling Beasts. I am your host this time around, Mr. Gary Hill, and I'm bringing you a film, a more recent film from 2020, called Beast Mode. Uh, the cheapo plot synopsis is this. When Bree Nash accidentally kills his only client at meal ticket, he turns to an ancient herbal extract with the hope that it will resurrect both his client and his career but lear- soon learns the elixir, bring- elixir brings out the worst of those who imbibe, turning them into bloodthirsty, shape-shifting beasts, and leaving Breen no recourse but to stop the creatures himself before his own inner beast consumes him. Um, there's a little more to the story than that, uh, but thank you uh, to um, Chris Freeman, who had a better synopsis than the regular IMDb synopsis. So th- this film stars C. Thomas Howell as as Breen Nash, who's um, who's like the 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 the, the, the agent here. Uh, James Duvall, who you may may have seen in things like uh, Independence Day and stuff like that. He, he's a familiar face. He just shows up in things. He plays Huckle Saxton, kind of. We'll get into that. Uh, Leslie Easterbrook shows up as Zelda Zine, who is the p- provider of this uh, magical elixir, which is a a cream kind of. Robert Costanzo, character actor, shows up in this movie. Ray Wise shows up in this movie. James Hong shows up in this movie. Oh, and there's there's a lot of fun stuff in this movie. But basically, uh, Bree Nash, when going to pick up his client, who's this, this really douchebag guy who you know does drugs and bangs women, including Bree Nash's wife, uh, accidentally runs him over and kills him, and. Yeah, is 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 forced into a corner to not only hide the body, you know, and, and, and cover it up, but to uh, find a worthy client to to be in his um, possible new blockbuster. After many failures, he they make a a gods of Egypt joke in this movie, but the movie's called something else, and just just making fun of movies that failed, and. Anyway, back to the story. They find this guy in a, in a porno shop that looks exactly like, like his client. Cause he, he doubles as his client. And he doubles as the guy in the movie. I mean, and he has scars on his face, like acne and, and nastiness. So they call on Leslie Easterbrook's character. And she knows of this cream, this this that's a miracle cream that would get rid of all this and make him pretty again. But little does she know, or, they, they, or little they know... Because you find out later that she does know precisely what it is. 
that when putting on this cream in, in abundance uh, in the witching hour, in the midnight hour, this cream will, will turn you into whatever you have on the inside uh, in, 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 in title beast mode, because he turns the, whoever put, who puts it on, turns into like this monstrous goblin looking, goblin looking thing who wants to kill people, and it happens every time, so the whole, uh, oh, the demon inside of you thing, you because know, it happens to a few folks in this movie, and this, this happens, you know, he puts it on, he gets more confidence, becomes kind of the, the, a douchebag like the actual Huckle Saxton, until, you know, stuff starts not to go right, and he starts to feel that, you know, that thing, as he becomes more douchey, he becomes more e egotistical, so he becomes the beast within, and he kills the makeup people, he escapes, and and another subplot, the guy, the real Huckle Sacks is still alive, so they have him locked away in his storage unit. Uh, a la the man in the iron mask, although this film is not that clever. It's, it's, it goes on and on until more folks get a hold of the cream and they, 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 they end up being like three or four beasts all together in this movie and a, a miracle cure and Ray Y shows up as the, the guy who originally put it on for fame and fortune and he's living a, living an isolated life with a shotgun in the woods somewhere, because I guess she didn't want to live that Hollywood life anymore. But the, fil the film itself is, is very decent. It had a million-dollar budget. Uh, a real flaw I'll give this movie is there's some CGI blood in here for no reason, and that that seemed like a really wasted thing, because it, it, it looks really bad. But the creature effects, the creature effects look spectacular. And the the gore effects look spectacular. I mean, I, I, seriously, people. And I, I I wouldn't steer you wrong on this one. The film itself, you know, the plot is 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 paper thin, but it works. To, to, you know, it works as a beginning, middle, and an end. It tells you why this is that and that is this. I mean, I've I've seen you could do a lot worse than beast mode. Let's put it that way. And. If you'd like to watch this movie, and I recommend that you do watch it at least once, because the, the cover art looks awesome, and the movie is decent enough to say, hey, if, if anything you're listening to right now says, hey, watch Beast Mode, watch it at least once, and I think you only slightly regret your time. But you can find this in, in the States on Prime Video, if you're a Prime subscriber for free, uh, Tubi TV. If you were a subscriber, well, you, you, that's free anyway. But they don't have that in the UK, which I heard. I was like, wow, that's wild. All that free horror films for, for, uh, for you people not to listen to. And I didn't mention much of the, um, the crew because the uh, director and writer, um, writers, Chris W. Freeman and, and Spain Willingham, uh, they mostly worked, they worked on some big Hollywood productions, but they were like additional crew, like probably like Grips or something. So they didn't do a whole lot before Beast Mode, but I'm interested in their follow-up because they wrote and directed this, and I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I'm totally interested because this is a nice blend of horror and comedy mixed together, and um, I would recommend it for you guys to watch it. But um, that's it for this one this time around. Tomorrow, um, this is going to be a fun one. I've already listened to this, and I'm I'm looking forward to getting it into your ear holes. Uh, my brother from the Kiss to Go podcast, Jeffrey X. Martin, has been tasked to do a true classic from 1965, one of the infamous nudie cuties, The Beast That Killed Women. And let me tell you, folks, you're in for a treat. <clears throat> Because he, uh, it's pretty funny, and the film ha has ample boobs in it, and if you don't know what a nudie cutie is, uh, I'm sure he'll he'll get into that, but these, these are films that are made, you know, taboo, mostly in Florida, and, um, y yeah, and, and showed boobs bounce around for, for the driving audiences, so, yeah, you're welcome, people. But this has been Beast Mode from 2020, like I said, give it a watch. It's 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 uh it's worth your time for ninety minutes. I, I, I I'm gonna say that with confidence. Okay, people. <laughs> as silly as it sounds, and it is silly. It's worth your time. But uh, thank you for listening.